Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today we're going to be looking at the latest addition to the Pulsar Thermal Imaging range. And that is, of course, as you would have seen on social media, the Krypton. What is the Krypton, you might ask? Well, the Krypton is the latest in front add-on thermal attachments from Pulsar. Now, many of you might know that obviously the core is currently out there at the moment, but the Krypton is a completely different ball game. So we're just going to have a quick look, a slight little quick fire review on it, and then we'll hopefully get some footage in the video as well, just so you guys can have a quick look too. So, looking at the unit itself, starting from the back as we, as we always do, you've got your rubber protection piece at the back, so that just twists off, just like that, and then all that does and that clips back on. I say so I'll explain that thread in just a second. You've got your menu systems all on the top, nice and easy to use, scroll through your different menus, which is now actually in a rotary men menu system rather than your standard linear uh, menu system, which is actually quite a nice take on this. You've got your focus knob on the top, so obviously that adjusts um, for different distances or whatever, whatever range you're shooting at. And then at the front, you've got your protective cap, which obviously just clicks off and then just screws on just like that. Now, obviously on the side, you've got a little protective plate here, which say just comes off, just lift it off just like that, pops off. And as you can see, you have your standard IPS7 battery connection, or if you want an extended battery life, your IPS14. And so all I do, once you're done, is you then just click that back in there, nice positive clicks either side, and then that just clicks underneath, and then you can store it away. Right, on the other side, you've got a Picatinny rail. Now you may ask, what's that for, considering it's thermal? This is actually to attach an external battery pack to, if you so wish. And that is because of the internals inside of this unit, which I'll go into in just a second, um, the IPS7 not necessarily has the 10 hour battery life that you'd expect when it's using other units, out of this, you're looking to get four, possibly five hours out of it. So it might be handy having an external battery pack. As I said, that just goes onto the Picatinny. Just open up your USB port there and it just plugs in. No issue. Right, we'll go um, into the internals now. The new thing about the Krypton is that it's got a sensor that's made in America. And that is a BAE 640 by 480 12 micron sensor. Now, the combination of the amount of pixels in the sensor, so 6, 640 by 480, with a, small, with a small pixel pitch of 12 microns, produces a real high definition picture, as you'll see from the images in a minute. It is absolutely incredible, this, this type of images you're getting out of this. As I said, I was absolutely blown away when I first, first used it. Um, it really is quite an insane piece of kit, and it shows us that actually the Americans, they do have much better kit than we do over here. Now, Another big thing with the Krypton is that you can use it as a monocular. Unfortunately, I don't have a monocular piece with me today because we've actually sold out of all the monocular pieces. But all that does is that literally just goes on, clicks on, and then you can use it as a monocular away you go. Also comes with a nice little lanyard in the box as well that you can just wrap around your neck. So if you need to put it back onto your, your rifle scope. So that's the Krypton itself. How to mount it, you may ask. Well, Pulsar have brought out a brand new mounting system that eliminates the issue of point of aim shift that quite a few people have got with like say the forward 455 uh, digital night vision front add-on or the core and that is called the PSP. As you, as you can see it's very similar in terms of the lever on the side there however there's a small gimbal system on the front that rotates and moves the unit about so therefore you won't lose point of shift and when you actually take it off the, off the front of your scope you take this off as well. I say I'll do that in a later video on how to take it on and off, but just for now, just to explain, I say that just comes on and off as part of the unit, so that way, that way you won't lose your point of shift. As with the DN50, DN56 um, adapters, it comes with all the rubber rings, as you can see here, many different attachments. Obviously, you need to buy the correct ones depending on what, what your scope is. That's pretty much it guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been James, your hunting and night vision specialist and this has been another video by Optics Warehouse.